Hello there. I am Samuel One. You're welcome to Wisdom Today. Love everybody, but choose your associates. Love everybody, but select your closest pals. Love everybody, but choose your associates. Our Lord Jesus Christ loved the whole world. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And Jesus proved that he loved everybody. But if you look at the life of Jesus and the account of his ministry, he was very selective about his relationship. Jesus had disciples. Many people wanted to follow him. He actually turned some people back. Jesus visited many places, but he was not staying in everybody's homes. The Bible made it very clear in the case of Lazarus that it was the place Jesus specifically used to lodge anytime he is in that city. Love everybody, but choose your associates. It is important for you to understand this, that many people came after Jesus Christ, but he rejected some. And yet, the same Lord Jesus went after some people. Some people came to him, accepted them. Some didn't come to him. He was the one that went after them. That is wisdom. Love everybody, but learn to choose your associates. This is very important. Greet everybody. Smile at everybody. Be cautious with everybody. Respect everybody. Relate generally with everybody. But be selective. Be prayerful. Be conscious. Be careful about your associates. You see, you need to differentiate between acquaintances, colleagues, friends, associates, and confidants. You got to do that. You see, a lot of people just mix up all their relationships. They, they put everybody around them in the same basket. It's not like that. That is not wisdom. Wisdom entails for you to put everybody around you in different boxes. Not everybody that you meet in life occupy the same position in your life. Love everybody, but choose your associate. There are many people around you that are acquaintances. There are many that are, that are colleagues. There are many that are friends. There are many that are associates. And there are many that are confidants. You've got to be able to differentiate this. It is great wisdom, therefore, for you to prayerfully select your relationship. It is great wisdom for you, therefore, to be particular about your association. It is great wisdom for you, therefore, to be, to be practical, for you to be, to be careful. It is great wisdom for you, therefore, to be technical, to be tactful, to be, to be very systematic about relationship and association. I cannot overemphasize this. Love everybody, but choose your associate. Look at what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. Proverbs 13 and verse 20. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. He who walks with the wise men will be wise, but he that decides to make relationship with fools shall be destroyed. Love everybody, but choose your relationship. Be practical. Be pragmatic. Be, be, be calculative. Be technical. Be prayerful. Be systematic. Be sensitive. Be careful. Make sure that you don't choose relationship anyhow. It is vital to your destiny. I want you to do something very prophetic today. I want you to sit down, find a time, find some time, and look at the relationship around you, from family to friends to colleagues to church to place of work everywhere. And then ask yourself a very steep and sincere question. Each one of these people around me, should I continue to be very close to them or not? What really is their relevance in my life? What role have they played in the past? 
what role are they playing today? What is God preparing them to pray in the future? Do it, and it shall be well with you. It is my prayer that the Almighty God and the Spirit of Wisdom will keep leading you in Jesus' name. Make this confession after me. See after me, I am a product of God's love. I will hate no one, but I will choose my relationship. Say it again. I am a product of God's love. I will hate no one, but I will select my relationship. I am a product of God's love. I will hate no one, but I will allow the Spirit of God to guide me in my relationship. God bless you. The Lord will be with you and uphold you. Every relationship around you shall be a blessing to you. And anyone that is a weapon of the enemy or a trap of the enemy around you, may the hand of God push them away in the name of Jesus. God bless you real good. My name is Samuel One. This is Wisdom Today. And don't forget, Jesus is coming and he's coming very soon. Thank you.